a new sea coming. Come on, say it loud and say it clear. It's a new sea. God, I'm so thankful today. I need a fresh anointing. I feel it coming my way. on your feet and say it's a new season I'm so glad I found it fresh anointing come in my way it's a season of power Jesus, you can come down here tonight, and I can introduce you. Don't leave this building. Come on and give him your heart. It's a new season. Come into me. Say it's a season of power.
season of power Sing prosperity It's a new season coming Come on, say it loud and say it clear It's a new season God, I'm so thankful today your feet and say it's a new season I'm so glad I found it Jesus, you can come down here tonight, and I can introduce you to him. If you're not saved, don't leave this building. Come on and give him your heart. It's a new season. Come into me. Say it's a season of power. Tell him to breathe on you. You need him more. You need me him more today than yesterday. Yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. You need fresh grace. You need fresh anointing. You need fresh anointing for fresh victories wherever you are. Wherever you're tuned in from is the Prakoch in the studio. It's midnight. Our combat begin to ask him to rain on you. We need fresh anointing. We need fresh impartation of grace for fresh victory. Oh, Zila Katulelebo, as you rise up to pray, wake up and wake up your neighbor. Wake up and wake up your neighbor. It's the prayer coach in the studio. It's the midnight hour combat. We're going to call upon the Lord. We're here to seek the face of the Lord. We're here to position ourselves 
for what God has in store for us this month of June. Wake up and wake up your neighbor. Tell him to rain on you. You need fresh impartation of the grace of God. You need fresh anointing for fresh victories in the name of Jesus. You need empowerment to take up your rightful places in destiny to overcome the oppositions, to possess your possessions and to become everything that God has created you to be wherever you are. Thank you for waking up. Thank you for being part of what God is doing even in this midnight hour. Thank you very much for reporting on duty. Thank you very much for reporting for duty tonight. We are the watchmen over the city. We are the watchmen over the city gates. We are the watchmen over the church. We are the watchmen over the nations. We are the watchmen over the families. We are the watchmen. Thank you very much for reporting on duty tonight. The anointing of God, the power of God, the grace of God is going to work in the spirit. Tonight, the blood of Jesus is going to work in the spirit. Tonight, the fire of the Holy Ghost is going to burn in the spirit. Tonight, yokes are going to be broken. Tonight, tears are going to be wiped away. Tonight, the works of the devil are going to be destroyed as we activate mysteries of righteousness, as we deactivate mysteries of iniquity. I I don't know where you are but i want to appreciate you for reporting on duty tonight we are about to ascend the mountain of prayer we are about to ascend the zone of high spiritual conflict where we battle curses we battle demons the bible says our weapons are not kind of they're mighty in the lord to the pulling down of satanic strongholds tonight we're gonna pull down some strongholds that have been holding mm. <laughs> they have held you for a long time. They have held you down. They have held your promotion. They have held your family. They have held your bloodline. Tonight, grace has been procured. Grace has been supplied to pull down strongholds. Edge all the whole strongholds. Ancestral strongholds. Bloodline strongholds. Tonight, you're welcome in the combat zone. You're welcome in the zone of high spiritual conflict where we are going to cast down every argument, every force that has been argued against your miracle every force that has been contending against your breakthrough tonight i want to welcome you in the combat zone i want to welcome you in the zone of high spiritual conflict i want to welcome you in the zone of winners in the zone of watchmen welcome welcome wake up and wake up your neighbor something is going to happen tonight in the name of jesus we here to command every evil hand that was holding what belongs to us we here to challenge every satanic mountain that is standing before us tonight the destroying will wind of god is going to pursue and overtake the enemies of your soul tonight every land covenant with the land demons that has been working against your prosperity shall be broken as we call upon the Lord tonight every power that wants to throw you out of your inheritance, out of your Canaanite land, out of your promised land shall be judged as you call upon the name Jesus any power that is threatening your peace we shall release the tempest of God against him tonight in the name of Jesus your heavens will be opened and divine abundance, divine favor shall be poured down on you like rain tonight I feel a strange anointing in the studio as we begin to mention the name Jesus as we begin to call upon the name Jesus as we begin to position ourselves I can guarantee you something wonderful is going to happen amen 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 if everyone here is everyone here invite call your neighbor give them a call right now tell them the prayer coach is already in the studio empowered anointed by the holy spirit to take us to the next level tonight something is going to break something is going to break in the name of jesus christ we are going to encounter the second the second wave of his power in this second half of the year 2020 let's begin to pray let's begin with thanksgiving let's begin with appreciating god for the great and mighty things he has been doing everything good we acknowledge the hand of god whatever good that has happened in your life is the hand of god that has worked it everything good every good happening in your life is 
worked by the hand of God. So you have every reason to say thank you this evening. I don't know where you are. I don't know where this midnight combat is finding you. But if you are under the sound of my voice, if your ears can hear me, you have every reason to say thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, in this midnight hour, we raise our voices. We lift up our hands to give you all the glory, to give you all the praise, to give you all the adoration. You are mighty. You are wonderful. You are excellent. You are great. There is no one like you. In this midnight hour, we establish a tent of worship. We raise an oath of worship. We want to bring you a sacrifice of worship, saying you are mighty. You are wonderful. You are excellent. You are exalted above all names. You are above all mountains. Can I hear an intercessor? Can I hear a worshiper in the house? Can I hear a worshiper in this place? Just glorify God. Just tell him his word is mighty. He's wonderful. He's excellent. He is. He is. He is. Come on. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. In this midnight hour, you have five minutes of adoration. You have five minutes to give him praise. Give him quality praise. Tell him he's wonderful. Tell him he's excellent. Tell him he's the Prince of Peace and the Lord of Lords. He's the Master. He's the Ancient of Days. He's the Lord of the Valley. He's the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty One in Battle. His name is Yahweh. His name is great. His name is powerful. His name is glorious. He's exalted in all the earth. Even in this midnight hour, Heavenly Father, we join the 24 elders. We join the living creatures. We join the angels of heavens to say, Holy, Holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Heavens bow before you this evening. We're here to give you the praise. We're here to exalt you. We're here to declare your glory, to declare your Lordship. Heavenly Father, we enter on you even in this midnight hour. We enter on you, King of our lives with enthrone you king of africa we enthrone you king of the universe your name is yahweh you are mighty and in battle there is no one like you even this midnight hours we raise our voices in prayer as we wake up to give you all the glory it's my prayer oh god that fill this place with your power fill this place with your glory as we gather on the airwaves of the wailing world tv as we gather in this place to give you the glory heavenly father it's my prayer manifest forth your power like never before as we mention the name Jesus, let mountains move tonight. Let yokes be destroyed tonight, oh God. Let your presence, let your power, let your glory feel this place in the name of Jesus. As the watchman family, oh God, we declare that you are God. We declare that there is no one like you. We declare there is no king like you. You are the mighty one in a battle. You are the God who has fought our enemies. You are the God who has procured victory. We want to appreciate you, my master. Thank you for being good unto us. Thank you for protecting protecting us. Thank you for preserving, oh God. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the air we breathe. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for the miracles that have happened. Thank you for the miracles that are happening tonight. Oh, come on, join me. Let's glorify God. Just to join me this evening. Let's give him the praise. Let's exalt his holy name. Someone join me. Join me. Let's just celebrate Jesus wherever you are. Right there in your house. Right there in the comfort of your bedroom. Just tell him, Father, you are God from the beginning to the end. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. There is no one like you. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Let your name be praised. Let your name be glorified. I desire. I love to love you, oh God. In this evening, I bring you worship, oh God. I bring a sacrifice of worship because you are. You are the lily of the valley. You are the bright morning star. I call you Yahweh. I call you Prince of Peace. I call you the balm of Gilead, Jehovah, our healer. I want to appreciate you, oh God, for every watchman, every man and every woman who is under the sound of my voice. I want to thank you for the watchman family. I want to thank you for being God in the watchman family. I've seen you move mirror mountains. I've seen you heal the sick. Lord, I've seen you break yokes of the enemy. I've seen you open prison doors. I've seen you rewriting our stories here in the watchman family. This is why I'm saying thank you, King of Glory. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being our healer. Thank you for manifesting forth your power. Thank you for challenging our enemies. Thank you for being a rock of refuge. Thank you for being a fortress of defense. Thank you for being our helper. Thank you, King of glory, for being our eternal rock of deliverance. That's why David says, I lift my eyes to the hills. From where cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord. 
who made the heaven and the earth he will not allow our foot to be moved he who keeps us will not slumber behold he who keeps the watchman family will not slumber nor sleep the lord is our keeper the lord is our shed at our right hand we shall not be moved the lord is our shed at our right hand the sun will not strike us by day no the moon by night the lord is our healer the lord was our deliverer even this evening give him praise give him glory david says the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid he says when the enemy came against me to eat up my flesh my enemies and for they stumbled and fell tonight some enemies are going to stumble in the name of jesus he says even if an army may encamp against me my heart will not fear this one thing i've desired and that will i seek that i may dwell in the house of the lord forever ladies and gentlemen tonight there is a move of his power tonight heaven is open in this place come on continue to enter enter his presence thanksgiving tell him how beautiful he is come on shower him with the praises tonight shower god with the praises shower him with the praises tonight something is gonna happen in noon something is going to happen tonight as you praise him i can feel it in my spirit mountains are being moved as you praise him right now he's multiplying that which is not enough as you praise him this evening as you praise him this midnight hour yokes are being destroyed as you praise him this midnight hour oh zika tamakuzile rika tamakuziana roko enter his presence continue to enter continue to enter his presence with thanksgiving continue to enter his presence continue to enter the holy of holies continue to come boldly to the throne room of grace that we may obtain mercy and find the grace to help us in the time of need god will help you my sister god will help you this evening oh david says give us help from trouble for vain is the help of men through god we shall do variantly for it is who shall treat down our enemies you've looked for men's help long enough you've been expecting men to help you you are to put confidence in men child of god the help of men is in vain men cannot help you it's god who is going to help you that's why we are gathered here in this midnight hour to call upon the lord of heavens to tell him lord you are our helper open your mouth in this evening begin to enter his presence we are still entering i want to see every watchman enter his presence with thanksgiving give him a quality praise give him quality praise this evening Father, I thank you. I thank you for the anointing. I thank you for the grace that has been supplied. I want to thank you for the fire that is burning in the spirit. I want to thank you for the angels that are ascending and descending, bringing healing to the sick tonight. I want to thank you for the angels of favor. I want to thank you for the angels of deliverance. I want to thank you for the angels of war. I want to thank you for angels of restoration. Thank you for the angels that are ascending and descending, bringing answers, bringing our packages. I want to thank you for angel michael who is fighting our battles i want to thank for angel michael who is combating and confronting all the forces of resistance all the demons in the heavenly places in the second heaven father even this midnight hour i stretch forth my hands to a seven i raise my voice unto you oh god because you've been hearing my prayer every time i pray you hear me this i know and this the confidence i have that the god who spoke to me he told me samuel i'm anointing you I'm sending you to pray with and for my people. I know every time I pray with God's people, he answers. I know every time I pray, heaven opens and he supplies grace. Even tonight, wherever you are, I don't know who is under the sound of my voice, but I can guarantee you, we are praying under open heavens. The anointing has been supplied. Yokes are going to be destroyed. Cages are going to be destroyed. Power is going to change hands. Heaven is going to open in your favor. God is wiping away your tears finally the end to your calamity has come finally the way out has come your past is over your egyptians experiences are over i declare tonight that discomfort in your body oh that sickness that stranger that has been hiding in your body tonight is your night you are going to encounter you are going to counter power the hand of god is going to move the anointing of god the fire of the holy ghost is going to burn in the spirit the voice of the blood is going to be speaking louder than the voices of our enemies the voice of the blood of jesus is speaking louder than the voice of our accusers the voice
voice of the blood of Jesus is speaking louder than the voices of our enemies. I feel it in my belly. The voice of the blood of Jesus is speaking louder and the better things than the voice of your accusers, than the voice of those who strive with you in this midnight hour as you wake up to pray, as you draw the battle line, as you ascend the mountain of prayer. I declare as your prophet, I declare as your destiny helper, I declare as your prayer coach. May heavens open for you. May God supply grace. Heavenly Father, this midnight hour, without you I'm nothing. I need more of your power. I need more of your grace, oh God. Anoint me afresh. Heavenly Father, anoint my lips. Anoint my voice. Anoint my head. Let that be healing in my voice. Let that be healing in this atmosphere. Let that be healing in the airways. As I pray. Let yokes be destroyed as I pray tonight. Lord, anoint me afresh. I receive fresh anointing to overtake. I receive fresh anointing as your servant, oh God. Go before me. Go before this prayer, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decrease that you may increase. I disappear that you may appear. Lord, yesterday is gone today. I need new grace. I need fresh grace for this fresh assignment. Lord, you've given me an assignment for this month of June. Lord, I receive receive grace for the assignment I receive grace for the assignment before me without I can do nothing heavenly father I submit myself under the leadership under the guidance of the Holy Ghost heavenly father let your spirit lead let your spirit walk in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus even through the airways through my voice oh God use me as a vessel use me as a conduit oh God I'm holding on to the horn of this altar I declare on oh my master Lord anoint me afresh Without you, I can do nothing. Lord, ordain me as a prophet in this midnight hour. As you ordained Jeremiah as a prophet over the nations. Lord, ordain me by anointing me. Lord, put a mark over my life in the mighty name of Jesus. That whatever I bind, yes, I'll be bound in heaven. Whatever I lose, yes, I'll be lost in heaven. Whatever I destroy, shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lord, work with me as you worked with Apostle Paul. As you worked with Moses. As you worked with Isaiah. As as you worked with Elijah, Lord, work with me. You worked with Peter, Lord, work with me. The Bible says through the hands of Paul, God wrote mighty works. Lord, through my voice, through this ministry, through this midnight hour, Lord, do great and mighty things in the mighty name of Jesus. This is why I declare the Lordship of Jesus Christ over this ministry. I declare the Lordship of Jesus Christ over this midnight company. I declare tonight, Heavenly Father, dispatch to of legions of warrior angels to assist me in this battle. Let your angelic host bind and restrain every demonic resistance. Let them intimidate and weaken every satanic opposition in the hours, every satanic opposition in the network, every satanic opposition in the second heaven, every power the enemy has set up to oppose this prayer. Wherever they are, I decrease evil war among demons, spirits, personalities and powers that are set up to oppose this prayer. I break the back born by the power in the blood of Jesus as we call upon you tonight I declare every way I declare unlimited access into the privileges of heavens I declare unlimited access into the benefits of salvation in the mighty name of Jesus tonight we shall enjoy the ministry of angels we shall enjoy the ministry of fire in the mighty name of Jesus oh God as we call upon you said in Jeremiah 33 call on to me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things as we call upon you tonight oh God answer our prayers do great things in our midst do great things in this midnight hour do great things in this month of June as we continue like that woman in Luke chapter 18 the Bible says she continued to go to ask for vengeance Lord you answered Lord in this midnight hour as we continue the whole month of June as I continue with your people as I continue with these women as I continue with these men it in prayer and fasting as we approach your throne of grace lord this month of june we obtain grace we find the favor to help us in the time of need this year lord we are redeeming this year out of the hands of the enemy we redeem this year oh god this is why i pray that you dispatch special angels of war to evacuate every stubborn spirit and their agents to the land of the wicked for mass destruction by divine earthquake sand and brimstone i dispatch special 
angels of war to evacuate every power, to evacuate every stubborn spirit, every stubborn blockage, every stubborn demon that refused to go last month, that stubborn power, be declared tonight. Let the angels of war, let special angels of war be dispatched in our midst. Let special angels of war be dispatched on this altar to evacuate, to dislodge every stubborn spirit, every stubborn sickness, every stubborn curse to the land of the wicked. Though much destruction by divine earthquake sand and brimstone in the name of jesus tonight you shall possess your possessions tonight you shall be delivered tonight you shall be healed you have ascended the mountain of god the bible says but upon mount zion there shall be healing upon mount zion there shall be deliverance you have come to mount zion you have come to the city of the heavenly father you have come to the heavenly Jerusalem. you have come to a numerable company of angels you have come to god the judge of all you have come to the church of the firstborn whose names are registered in heaven. You have come to Jesus, the mediator of the New Testament, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better, better things in this midnight hour. I invoke the power in the blood of Jesus. Lord, let your blood begin to speak better things. Lord, tonight I invoke the power in the blood of Jesus. Lord, let the voice of the blood continue to speak better things. Any voice of accusation, every voice voice of allegation every voice of condemnation let the voice of the blood speak better things call the voice of the blood invoke the power in the blood of jesus call the blood of jesus everybody wherever you are open your mouth begin to call the blood begin to plead the blood of jesus begin to plead the blood of jesus everybody everybody begin walk around the house walk around the corridors walk around the lounge walk around the bedroom begin to plead the blood of jesus i see some people still in bed what are you doing in bed it's time for battle you are sleeping it's time to go and you are sleeping oh open your mouth jump out of that bed command right now let the blood of jesus begin to speak let the blood of jesus begin to walk in the spirit i plead the blood I plead, I plead the blood of Jesus in this midnight hour. I plead the blood of Jesus on this altar. I plead the blood of Jesus in the airwaves. I plead the blood of Jesus in the second heaven. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead, I call the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I plead the blood in the spirit realm, in the invisible world. I plead the blood of Jesus in the heavenly places. I plead the blood of Jesus in my foundations. I plead the blood of Jesus in my environment. I plead the blood of Jesus in this atmosphere. I plead the blood of Jesus in my neighborhood. I plead the blood of Jesus in this midnight hour. I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus. Continue, plead the blood. I want to hear your voices. Plead the blood. Don't be silent. I close the mouth is a close the destiny why are you silent open your mouth call the blood continue continue call the blood of jesus in your atmosphere in your environment call the blood of jesus sanitize your environment sanitize the atmosphere sanitize the atmosphere of any evil sanitize the atmosphere of any contamination sanitize the atmosphere of any pollution sanitize the atmosphere of any impurity sanitize the atmosphere with the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus is the strongest sanitizer the blood of Jesus is the strongest sanitizer open your mouth by the power in the blood sanitize your environment sanitize your atmosphere sanitize your atmosphere wherever you are sanitize your atmosphere in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus ladies and gentlemen I feel heaven is open the atmosphere has changed we have have a breakthrough we have a breakthrough tonight ladies and gentlemen we have a breakthrough we have the, i feel the breakthrough in the spiritual realm heaven is open heaven is open in this place angels are sending and descending angels have begun heaven has started right now heaven has started fighting heaven has started fighting i feel i feel in my spirit there is a rumble there is a shaking there is a shifting there is a shifting something is turning around something is breaking for you power is changing hands continue pleading the blood continue bleeding the blood 
continue continue my sister continue my brother continue pleading the blood it's the midnight hour combat it's the prophets in the studio plead the blood of jesus continue pleading the blood continue plead the blood plead the blood of jesus i 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 plead the blood of jesus on this altar i plead the blood of jesus on the airwaves i plead the blood of jesus in the atmosphere i plead the blood of jesus in your house i plead the blood of jesus in that house i plead the blood of jesus in your house wherever you are i plead the blood of jesus in your house i plead the blood of jesus in your house i plead the blood of jesus i hold the blood in the spirit realm i hold the blood of jesus as the evidence of your victory i plead the blood i hold the blood of jesus they overcame him by the blood of the lamb tonight we are overcoming the devil i overcome curses i overcome spiritual husbands i overcome witchcraft by the blood of the lamb the same weapon that they used and they overcame the devil we use the same weapon of the blood we are overcoming every power we are overcoming every prosperity we are overcoming every ruler of the darkness of this age we are overcoming every satanic gang up we are overcoming demonic agents we are overcoming the marine powers we are overcoming generational forces we are overcoming overcome them by the blood raise your voice overcome begin to overcome where are the watchmen where are the warriors where are the wailing women where are the frontliners can you raise your voice louder can you take it higher can you charge the environment can you raise the temperature can you take it a bit higher make it hot make the environment hotter make the environment unbearable for demons make your environment sanitize your environment make it unbearable for demons to survive make it unbearable for viruses to survive make it unbearable for failure to survive failure cannot survive in your environment darkness cannot survive where you are command the light of god to shine in every prison command the light of god to shine in your foundations command the light of god in this midnight hour i call the blood i call the blood of jesus heavenly father let the voice of the blood begin to speak for us lord we are here on this altar waiting upon you let your voice let the voice of the blood continue to speak i invoke the power in the blood of jesus our forefathers they overcame by the blood lord let the same blood we have returned to the blood of the covenant we have returned to the blood the same victory that heaven had lord we declare victory by the blood in the blood i declare victory in the blood by the blood because of the blood in the blood by the blood because of the blood in the blood by the blood because of the blood we are overcoming because of the blood we are overcoming tonight we overcome powers we overcome principalities we overcome agents of darkness by the blood with the blood because of the blood we procure victory we declare victory we declare victory i run not the war on your destiny i run not the battle you're fighting i run not the attack that have come your way i run on the storm on the see of your destiny my sister i know one thing that blood has never failed the song says it reaches to the highest mountain it flows down to the deepest valley it's the blood this gives us strength from day to day it will never lose this power even in this midnight hour the power in the blood of jesus it reaches where medicine cannot reach the power of the blood the impact of the blood the influence of the blood it reaches right in your marrows it's reaching right there where the cast cannot flee in the name of jesus call the blood call call the blood don't get tired don't get tired this is war they don't get tired we are in a battle zone we are in a combat zone we have ascended the mountain of prayer we have crossed into a zone of high spiritual conflict where we battle demons where we deactivate mysteries of iniquity where we undo what the enemy has done where we unlock where what the devil has locked where we unblock where the what the enemy has blocked 
authority tonight. Can I hear a witness? Can I hear a witness in the house? Can I hear a warrior? Makazakata, Rakazeketa Yaba. Heaven is open, my sister. Heaven is open, my brother. It's time to make mention. It's time to present your petitions. Everybody, wherever you are, begin to present your petitions. Begin to pour out your heart before the Lord in this midnight hour. Why are you here? What do you want God to do? Tell him about your sickness. Tell about, about your file. Pull out your file. Tell him, Heavenly Father, pull out your prayer request. Pull out your prayer request. Begin to command. Begin to present them before the Lord. He says, be answer for nothing, but in all things by prayer and the supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. Pull out your prayer request right now. Begin to pull them out. Call out right now. Commission, mission, present your request before the Lord. Present your request before the Lord. In the name of Jesus, in this midnight hour, present your request before the Lord. Talk about that business breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, this one says you pray for my life. Stagnation. Lord, I close all the doors of stagnation. Talk about your marriage. Tell him about about to peace on your business. Talk about, talk about. Tell him, tell him. Open your mouth. Be answer for nothing in all things. Begin to present your prayers, healing and financial release. Unlock my destiny and ministry. End of the oppression of wickedness in my family. Restoration in every area of my life. Declare, declare it louder. This one says, my prayer request is as follows. Spiritual growth, breakthroughs, business and financial and marriage breakthrough. We are here on the altar. Begin to present your petitions. Begin, begin, begin everybody. Pour out your heart. We are under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Heaven is open in this place. The power of God has begun. The anointing of God is always in seasons like this. When yokes are destroyed, it's always in moments like this. It's the midnight hour command. There is an end. I'm your prophet. I'm your destiny helper. I'm your prayer partner. I'm in agreement with you concerning the desires of your heart. He said in Matthew 18, 19, Again I say unto you, if two of you shall agree as touching anything that we shall ask, it shall be done. I'm your prayer partner, my sister. In this midnight hour, I'm in agreement with you concerning your finances. I'm in agreement with you concerning that child. I'm in agreement with you. Pray. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Let me hear a Hannah. There is a Hannah in the house. There is a Jabez. There is a Jacob here who will not let go until you are blessed in this midnight hour. Tell him I will not let go until my name changes in this midnight I'm in agreement with you as the priest on this altar the Bible says and Hannah refused to be comforted she refused to eat Hannah refused and she went before the Lord and the Bible says she knelt on the altar and she called upon the Lord and she said oh my master if only you can remember me and give me a male child tell him to remember you I don't know where you need remembrance I don't know a Hannah there is a Hannah in this place we start of being a mocker. You are tired of stagnation. You are tired of crying every damn night. You are tired of the cycles in your life. You are tired of the happenings. Open your mouth. Heaven is open. You are praying under a prophet cover. You are praying on the a prophetic altar. Open your mouth right now. Pour out your heart. After the man of Hannah. Hannah prayed. Hannah refused to joke. Hannah refused to settle for less. We are not settling for less. We refuse to settle. We can't settle for less. No way we are reaching out to the desire of God. We are reaching out tonight, even in prayer. Kata, makata, kata yaba, rakata yarereha. Don't say to her, cry out to God. You have cried to men. You have called men. It's time to call God. It's time to turn to God. It's time to turn to God. And Hannah prayed. And the Bible says, God remember that woman remember that man oh god they are calling upon you because they believe that you're able to do exceedingly abundantly they believe that you're able to make a way where there is no way lord i believe that you're able to wipe away my tears lord i believe you are able to visit my ministry lord i believe oh god that you are able to deliver me deliver 
me speedily be my rock of refuge a fortress of defense to save me for you are my rock and my fortress therefore for your name's sake lord for the sake of your name lord don't allow your name to be mocked how why will the heathen mock your name why will the heathen mock your name in this midnight hour arise and defend your name lord arise and defend your name we are your people we have been called by your name lord we are your people lord let name no don't let your name to be disgraced don't let your name to be mocked lord don't let your name we bear your name how why would the heathen mock why would the heathen say the lord has deserted them why will it be said in the heathen that we don't have god why why lord my master so rap oh god answer those who have been asking where is your god they have been asking you are a proud warrior they have been asking they have been mocking you are always going to church but why is not your god answering you you are believing god but why is there no change why is it that whatever we suffer you also suffer lord this midnight hour lord make a difference lord don't allow your name to be mocked lord we are bearing your name we are your people you said in your word that if you lock up the heavens and there is no rain if you come and lock up over the land if you send the pestilence among your people you said if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn away from the evil ways you said you shall hear from heaven you said you forgive their sins lord we are your people on the altar we are your people in this midnight hour lord these are your people lord hear the prayers you said in verse 15 that now my eyes and my ears will be open and attentive to the prayers that are made here lord hear hear my prayers hear the prayers of that woman hear us oh god don't give us as a prayer to the desires of our enemies lord disappoint them let them not rejoice over us let them not rejoice over our lives let them not rejoice oh god they are waiting for us to fail they are waiting for us to be defeated they are waiting for us to beg lord don't allow them to rejoice over us the enemy will not rejoice over you i feel it in my spirit my sister god is saying the enemies will not rejoice over you in the name of jesus god is remembering you god is wiping away your tears when god remembered the captivity of zion we were like those who dreamed oh he filled our mouth with the laughter our tongue with the singing it was said among the nations the lord has done great things for them lord do great things for your people the lord shall do great things for you god will do unusual things for you god will do uncommon miracles uncommon breakthroughs unusual acts right now that's the power of god that's the anointing of god all over the studio all over the internet all over the atmosphere i release the power I release the anointing of God. I release the anointing of healing. I release the anointing of deliverance. That's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. Fire has begun. I feel it in my spirit. I'm like in the air. I'm floating. I'm literally floating. I feel the power. I feel the presence of God. Ladies and gentlemen, heaven is open in this place. The power of God is moving. The anointing of God is working. Yokes are being destroyed. I come here. Kings are breaking. I come here, mountains are moving. I come here. Kapata, Rakata Kayaba, Rakata Yaleva, Manda Kazua, Rakata Kayaba. If God be for me, who can be against me? Rakata Kataya, Manda Kazukata. For we have no power against this gold mountain again. Nor do we know what to do. But our eyes are upon you. Lord, we are looking unto you. You are our help. We are looking unto you, my master. Lord, you send us help from above. Lord, send us help. Send us help, oh God. Help us tonight. Lord, help our destinies. Lord, help. Lord, send us help. God says, David says, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help. A very present help. A very present help. In time of trouble. Therefore we shall not fear though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea though its waters roar and be troubled he says there is a river whose waters shall make glad 
the city of the Lord in this midnight hour. Help is on the way in this midnight hour. As you've declared before the Lord in this midnight hour, as you've spoken in the earring of God, so shall it come to pass. So shall it come to pass. So shall it come to pass. We bless you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise. Thank you for the answered prayers. Thank you for the solution to every question. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. That was a session of pouring out our hearts before the Lord. We were calling upon him. We were presenting our petitions. It says, be anxious for nothing. But in all things, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god he says and the peace of god that surpasses that transcends all understanding shall guard both your mind and your heart after presenting our petitions before the lord we want to dive into warfare we want in the next 45 minutes it's going to be fire for fire the anointing of god arrows are going to be flying are you ready we are getting into a session called warfare where we're going to shoot into 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 a realm where the devil has no permit where the devil cannot operate we're going to to take it higher we're going to make it hot we're going to make it we're going to make fire whatever swallowed you is going to vomit you hallelujah uh, uh, before we get into prayer I, I just want to 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 open your eyes a bit you see this when we talk about warfare is about two kingdoms which is the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light we belong to the kingdom of light we, we are the agents of the kingdom of light we are the ambassadors of the kingdom of light the same way the devil has agents of the kingdom of darkness what are agents for agents are the vessels and the instruments through which the the, the hand of the kingdom works agents are vessels are tools through which the kingdom operates the devil has agents the agents of darkness and god has agents we are the agents of the kingdom of light now when we say warfare it means the battle between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light we all know that from the beginning the devil is against god you don't need to offend anyone you don't need to step on anyone's toe just to be born again the devil will make you his prime target today looking around you the enemy is attacking east and left not because you've provoked him not because you've done anything but that's his job description He's designed, he's, he's wired to attack you. It's ignorance if you sit down and you think, for me, I don't have enemies. If your father has enemies, it means you have the enemies. The enemy of your father is your enemy. Someone can't say that they hate your father and you think they love you. No. If God has enemies, if the devil is an enemy of God, automatically, as children of God, we are number one targets. We are prime targets. Hallelujah. But in this battle, the number one weapon we use is the light. I feel the anointing of God. That's why we're going to, to best. Light is the victory over darkness immediately light shines you see uh, behind your oppression behind your imprisonment behind the calamities the tragedies behind the setbacks and all the the, the cycles around you is the force of darkness we were reading in the book of acts chapter 12 let me go there quickly. Acts chapter 12. I'm trying to build up a prayer point for the next 
30 minutes, 30 zero, we are going to pray. We are going to call upon heaven. Darkness must bow. Those forces of darkness, all the works of darkness, all the handwriting of darkness over you tonight, darkness will bow to the power of light. Darkness will flee. Look at that in the book of Acts chapter number 12. I'm going to show you something. You, you may not open because I don't want you to cool down. We're going to pray. We're going to ascend in the prayer. Uh, Acts chapter number 12. Look at that. I will read uh, uh, from verse 4. Acts chapter number 12. Uh, verse four. I'm reading from verse 4. It says, so when he had arrested him, Mm. He put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Verse 5, Peter was therefore kept in a prison. Look at that. But constant prayer. That's what we are doing this month. This month we are engaging the mystery of constant prayer. No one should miss any midnight hour this month. Whether the degrees drip to drop to, to, to negatives, make sure you don't miss midnight. Whether it's winter, whether it's raining, whether don't miss midnight this month. I'm encouraging, I beseech you with the message of God, don't miss any midnight combat. Why? We are doing constant prayer. Constant prayer. Verse 5. He says, but constant prayer was offered hmm, to God for him by the church. We are the church here on the Waving World TV. We are the church. We are offering constant prayer. Verse 6. The Bible says, and when Herod was about to bring him out, that night, that night, that night, Peter was sleeping, bound with the two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the doors were keeping the prison. Verse 7. Now behold, an angel, look at that, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison. Do you see that? And the light shone in the prison. This angel had a mission. This angel came from heaven in response to the prayers of the church. So the angel was coming on a deliverance rescue mission. So the angel knew that among the weapons that I'm going to use in this rescue mission is the light. Why? Because behind every imprisonment, there are forces of darkness. Behind your oppression, there are forces of darkness. So the angel knew that behind the imprisonment of Peter, there are forces of darkness. So he knew I need light because light is the answer to darkness. Light, we, we are king, we are it's a spiritual warfare, but it's the kingdom of light versus the kingdom of darkness. So the angel knew that Peter is in a prison because of the forces of darkness. So the angel came with the light. Are you seeing that? And a light shone in darkness. You see what light does, light paralyzes darkness, light renders power darkness powerless, light renders darkness impotent, light renders darkness useless. So the angel knew that on this rescue mission. I must take light. And the Bible says when the angel arrived in prison, he struck Peter with the light. And immediately the forces of darkness were paralyzed. They lost their grip of Peter. And the Bible says the chains were broken. I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight, but as you wake up to pray, I see the angel coming with the light. I don't know the prison where you I don't know the forces of darkness that are responsible for your present calamity. But in the next third minutes as you raise your voice as you add the fire in your voice I see the angel I see light shining in your darkness you are in for a great day ahead of you because the forces of darkness that were holding you in prison the forces of darkness that were responsible for your pain for your calamity for your tears for the cycles of rising and falling cycles of getting and losing oppression difficulty toiling struggling those forces are finally giving way to the power of light if you believe it shout aloud amen 
so shall it be in this midnight hour as we wake up to pray light is going to shine in darkness i can assure you my sister i can tell you my brother darkness behind your pain there are forces of darkness until we deal with the forces of darkness mm, the oppression may never end that's why the bible says arise and shine why for your light has come when light comes darkness loses its power and you are empowered to rise in the sign i'm speaking to someone the devil had tied you down you have been down and out because forces of darkness had covered you with the layers of failure layers of disappointment trouble and now you didn't know what to do but I declare this midnight hour as the your light comes as your light comes the forces of darkness are losing that great. I see you rising and shining I said I see your marriage rising and shining I see you that business rising and shining in this midnight hour I see you rising and shining if your amen is louder receive it now if your amen is louder, let it begin now. Amen. You are rising and shining. Why? Your light. Your light has come. We are going to pray for a point. Commanding the light to shine in darkness. Commanding the light of God to paralyze all the powers of darkness that have been on a mission to tie you down. Any power, any agent of the kingdom of darkness that was assigned to trouble you, to discourage you. Any power, any agent of the kingdom of darkness. Any personality, any man or woman that has been used by the kingdom of darkness to inflict you with the pain. To, to, to prolong your stay in Egypt tonight. Mm. I feel the anointing of God. I feel the anger of God. Those forces that have been keeping in pain for 18 years. They have kept in pain for 5 years. They have been afflicting you with the sickness for 3 weeks now. Tonight the end has come. Tonight the way out for you has come. If your amen is louder, receive it now. If your amen is louder, receive it now. Mm. This is what I feel in my spirit. My glory. You are going to pray my glory. My marriage. If my glory has been caged. Oh God arise and command deliverance. If my breakthrough has been caged. I told you forces of darkness are responsible. Tonight you are going to command your glory to receive light. You are going to command your inner man. Your soul to receive light. Some people under the sound of my voice, your soul has been caged. Your soul has been manipulated. Your soul has been contaminated with different soul ties. Many people, your soul hunters, have hunted down your soul. They have caged you. They have crippled you. They tied you down in the pit of darkness. But tonight, as you receive the light of God in your inner man, as you receive the light of God in your soul, as you receive the light of God in your spirit, I see the cage breaking. I declare the cage is breaking tonight and you are flying out. Mm. I see the vision. People, I, I, I see I see uh, uh, doves doves flying. I see doves flying. In the vision I'm seeing souls escaping out of, oh some says that the cage is broken. As the bird flies out of the cage, so shall you so fly out of that cage. Uh, is someone ready to pray? I said, are you ready to call upon the Lord? Are you ready to turn around your story? Are you ready to embark on, on, on prayer tonight? I declare in the name of Jesus, as you've appeared on this altar, let the light be made available. Tonight may you escape the cage of the enemy, wherever you were tied, wherever you were confined, whatever has been holding you down in the pit of darkness, in the valley of dry bones you are coming out out with your family you are coming out with your business you are coming out to open your mouth begin to get into warfare a closed mouth is a closed destiny open your mouth louder get into warfare it's time to war it's time to battle it's time to tell the devil this far you have come you cannot go any longer than this in the name of Jesus heavenly father in this midnight hour we depend on the power from above as the watchman 
women on the wall as the church on the airwaves as you answered the church in the days of Peter in the book of Acts chapter number 12 the Bible says that the constant prayer was offered by the church on behalf of Peter and the Bible says suddenly there came an angel and the light shone in darkness in this midnight hour let the light shine in your darkness I don't know where you are maybe you are experiencing your darkest days maybe you are experiencing your darkest days the days are dark because you don't seem to see a way out you don't seem to find an answer you are going through dark days I have good news for you in this midnight hour as you continue the Bible says but constant prayer was offered by the church in this midnight hour Heavenly Father constant prayer is being offered by the church on this altar in the hours of the wailing world TV as men as are under the sound of my voice as men as have appeared on this altar Lord let light shine in that darkness I command light to shine in your darkness the same light the same angel that came to rescue Peter I dispatched the angel in this midnight hour the Bible says it was in the midnight hour like this Peter was in the prison and the light shone in this midnight hour let light shine in your darkest hours in your darkest days God appeared to Solomon by night may God appear to you tonight with the light I scatter all the forces of darkness I conquer I stand I challenge all the forces of darkness that have held you down that have held your marriage that have held your finances all the forces of darkness that have held down your health that have held down your marriage tonight I feel a rumble ladies and gentlemen there is an earthquake there is a shaking the will wind of God is pursuing is overtaking the enemies of your soul I feel it in my spirit the will wind of God the destroying will wind of God is pursuing and overtaking the enemies of your soul in this midnight hour I command your soul I command your goodness I command your virtues I command your blessings I command your star that was caged your star that was imprisoned every pit of hell every gang up of darkness every demonic warehouse every strong room where the forces of darkness have held your star that have held your business can you rise my sister can let your voice be louder begin to declare on this altar you are escaping you are flying out you are jumping out of the cage jump out of the cage I rescue you you are escaping tonight it was in the night like this when Israel escaped out of Egypt it was in the night like this when Jacob escaped from Laban you are escaping tonight I see the forces of darkness losing their grip they are losing their hold I feel the anointing of God I run with under the sound of my voice you have been a victim the devil has been toying with your destiny I come as a rescuer I come as a deliverer I come in the anointing the Bible says by a prophet the Lord delivered Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet I stand in the prophetic grace that backs up this ministry I stand as your prophet Elijah is not here Moses is not here Apostle Samuel Tegule I'm in the studio I declare tonight may you come out the pressure is down in the name of Jesus I call you out I rescue you in this midnight hour I rescue your soul out of the cage I rescue your soul I rescue your marriage I pull you out the cage breaker the prison breaker is in the house ladies and gentlemen the anointing has begun the anointing has started I can hear yokes are being destroyed buttons are being lifted the power of God is breaking the grip of darkness I command all the forces of darkness from your father's house all the forces of darkness from your mother's house all the forces of darkness that have been sitting on your destiny sitting on your career every herald of your father's house every strong man or woman that has been inflicting pain that has been oppressing and destroying your destiny tonight you are coming out begin to jump out jump out of that darkness jump out of the pit 
come out of the cage receive fire receive fire my soul receive fire jump out of darkness my soul my inner man my glory that has been caged my glory my marriage that was caged my star my anointing receive fire jump out of darkness jump out of darkness jump out of darkness oh god arise command the victory let the light shine i send light i dispel and expel every darkness i disperse i disperse every darkness in your soul every darkness in your soul i expel i expel let that be light 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 speak light let that be light speak light let that be light let that be light the bible says and the light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended not let light shine in my darkness in this midnight hour let light shine let that be light let that be light call light let light expel let light destroy let light paralyze all the forces of darkness command the light to expel command light to shine let light shine shine in my soul let light shine in my soul in this midnight hour let the light shine call the light to shine and you can do better let your voice be louder let the light shine let the light shine let the light shine <laughs> let light shine in this midnight hour I command let light shine in every prison right now let the earthquake of deliverance shake the foundations of every ancient prison every ancient captivity every age old captivity every generational captivity ancient doors ancient bondage ancient prisons every ancient prison every age old bondage that has been holding down your star holding down your marriage by the anointing of God by the fire of the Holy Ghost I command the earthquake of deliverance to shake let that be shaken I shake I shake the foundations I shake them I shake them I shake them I say shake them shake them shake them shake them shake the foundations of every ascent captivity shake the foundations every captivity bloodline captivity household captivity shake the foundations can i hear a warrior shake them shake 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 the foundations shake the foundations of a old captivity shake every foundation foundation of failure foundation of failure shake the foundations shake the foundations in this midnight hour heaven has taken over let that be light let the light shine in every darkness in this midnight hour let the light of god let the light of the gospel let the light let the light of the gospel let the light let the light of the gospel shine in every darkness let the light of the gospel let the light of the word shine in every darkness lord is shine in someone's darkest days i'm speaking to someone you are going through dark days you don't seem to see a way out everything is stuck and stagnant i declare tonight let light let there be light let there be light let there be light. Declare it louder. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Speak light. Light is a tool. Light is a weapon that overcomes the forces of darkness. Subdue you. Subdue all the forces of darkness. Subdue you all the powers. All the serpents and scorpions. By the power of light. We expose. We expose all the forces of darkness all the influences and consequences we expel them we expose them all the influences all the consequences we expose we expel them this month of june let light shine in your soul let light let light shine in your soul let light let light shine in your spirit man let light shine in your dreams oh when light comes darkness flees 
Darkness has no power in the face of light. Darkness is helpless when light shows up. Tonight, may light shine in your life. Let your soul be filled with the light. I'm speaking to souls that were captives. I'm speaking to souls that the enemy had caged. Mm, behind that cage, behind your imprisonment at the forces of darkness. Every agent of darkness, every agent from the marine world, every agent from the pit of hell that was assigned against you, every agent, man or woman, that has been used as a tool from the pit of hell to bring you down or to discourage you, to trouble you tonight whoever has been giving you trouble whoever has troubled your marriage whoever has troubled your business whoever has troubled your health I stand as a prophet of God in this midnight hour I declare trouble to your troublers may God trouble your troublers as they have given you sleepless nights they have given you sleepless nights I declare tonight may God give them trouble Rest down, shaken together, and running over. May God the trouble your troublers. Every evil hand that has been stretched to trouble your days, to trouble this year. Every demonic hand that has been assigned and stretched to trouble your life. Tonight, let them receive fire. Let them catch fire. Let them receive judgment. In the name of Jesus, I'm looking at time. It's already past one. Uh, we, as we go, as days go by, God will be giving us grace to minister prophetically, to, 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 to handle a few prayer points. But right now, we are still gathering momentum for where we are going. We are here for the full month of June. I want you to send your prayer request on the prayer request page. Everybody, send your prayer request. There are things that God wants to deal with forever, permanently, this month. This month, God has given us the grace. Like that woman in the book of Acts, Luke chapter 18, we are continuously, constantly going before the Lord. Telling him, Lord, avenge us speedily. Lord, give us justice. For your name's sake, let us never be put to shame. Why would the nations ask, where is that God? Why would the heathen ask, where is our God? May God answer every question mark on your life. May God turn every question mark on your life into an exclamation mark. Those who have been asking, where is your God? They are about to wonder. They are about to be amazed. They will be greatly astonished. They will say, what manner of man is this? They will say, we have never seen it in this fashion. They will say, we have seen strange things today. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As I release you from the altar tonight, God had put it in my spirit. Uh, there is what the enemy does. They are called heaven blockers. This month, I want to declare open heavens. You are going to operate under open heavens the whole of this month. Amen. So you are going to, the prayer point is as I release you to bed, you are going to pray, my heavens Open now and let divine favor, let divine breakthroughs be poured down on me like rain. What is the prayer point? The prayer point is my heavens open now. In this midnight hour, we are commanding our heavens to open and let divine abundance be poured down like rain. And as you pray that prayer point from tonight onwards, you will be operating under open heavens. Any power that wants to close down your heavens financially, maritally, mm, whoever is on the line for marital blessings, for marital bliss, whoever is on the line for a marital breakthrough this month, 
month. Oh, get ready, get ready, get ready. I've seen prayer request people who are in the process. You are believing God for for lobola negotiation this year. Mm. The, the lobola negotiations are going to be completed. That man who is who is not proposing. That man who has who has turned you into a coffee plantation. Every time they are asking you coffee, coffee, they want to fill your stomach with coffee this month they are going to say a word i said that man who wants to turn you into a coffee plantation this month they must propose hey <laughs> i'm not joking you are going to hear they are going to propose you are not a coffee plantation they must propose and every curse every marital siege light is going to shine in that darkness and God is going to deliver you. So, as I release you, the prayer point is God in this midnight hour, I command my heavens to open now. You mentioned heavens in my finances, heavens in my marriage, heavens in my, in my academics. Let my heavens open now and let divine blessings, divine favor, divine increase, promotion be poured down on me like rain. Are you ready? You have two minutes to make that prayer point. Pray, pray. My heavens open now. Command open heavens. This month of June, you will operate under open heavens. The Bible says when Jesus was being baptized, heaven opened. When heavens opened for Jesus, he never went back in his old lifestyle. He began to, to, to make destiny count. He began to make news. His name began to make waves. Open your mouth. Command open heavens. The reason why things have been had the reason why things were not breaking through is because you were under closed heavens tonight that curse that spell that force that wanted to close down your heavens that wants to eliminate you out of your favor that wanted to pursue you out of your blessings i command your heavens to open now i command your heavens to open in this midnight hour my heavens open now and let divine blessings let financial blessings my heavens open now I command the heavens over my ministry to open. I command the heavens over my marriage to open. I command the heavens over my finances to open. Command the heavens to open. In this midnight hours, you declare so shall it be. Declare open heavens. Let my heavens open. Heavens over my finances. Let my heavens open. I will not operate under closed heavens. I refuse to operate under closed heavens. My destiny will not operate under closed heavens. In this month of June, I will operate under open heavens, open heavens in my business, open heavens in my finances, open heavens in my bank account, open heavens in my wallet, I open my heavens, all the heavenly blockers, all the forces that want to block my heavens, I unblock my heavens, in the name of Jesus Christ, let my heavens open, let the reign of blessings, let the reign of favor, let the reign of increase, let the reign of promotion be poured down, Receive the rain. Receive the latter rain. Receive the rain. No, no more shame. Receive the rain. Let the rain wash away every shame. Let the rain wash away every bondage. Receive the rain. Receive the rain. Receive the rain of blessings. Receive the rain of favor. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain like a rushing of a mighty wind. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain all over you. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Mm. I speak a rain of blessings. Let it rain. Command it to rain. Let it shower. Let it rain. Let it rain in your wallet. Let it rain in your bank account. Let it rain in your marriage. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Call the rain. Call the rain. You can do better. Call the rain. You have two minutes. Call the rain. Call the rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain all over you. Let it rain in your marriage. When it rains, shame is erased. When it rains, poverty goes. When it rains, let it rain. Rain. let it rain receive the rain receive the rain receive the rain receive the rain my brother receive the rain my sister receive the rain receive the rain receive the rain receive the rain oh receive the rain in the name of Jesus Elizabeth receive the rain receive the rain receive the rain receive the rain Tando receive the rain Susie receive the rain Betty receive the rain in the name of Jesus receive the rain never receive the rain Pumza receive the rain let it rain Dikla let it rain let it rain all over you let it rain in your finances let it rain 
Everybody stretch your hands towards heaven as if you are expecting it to rain. Right that way you are. I want to release you, but just stretch your hands towards seven. Everybody, everybody, stretch your hands towards seven. I trigger the rain of blessings. As you are watching with me in the midnight hours of this month, I declare under the anointing of heaven, let blessings rain over you let financial blessings let favor from on high let marital rain mm, i feel it in my spirit let it rain all over you receive the rain of power receive the rain of favor that which you've spoken the prayers you've prayed here the heart you've poured out before the lord let it begin to rain when it began to rain for Sarah, mm, oh, her mockers were silenced. When it began to rain for Hannah, mm, the mockers were silenced. I declare tonight, let it rain and let your mockers be silenced. Let it rain in your house. Let it rain in your career. Let it rain. Let it rain. In the name of Jesus, I speak rain. I want to minister to the sick before I release you. Now, sickness is not only physical. It can be emotional. It can be financial. As, as I declare, I feel the anointing of God. As I speak healing, whatever is sick, whatever the doctors have done, Glad sick. I'm speaking about sick body organs. I'm speaking about. I'm talking about sick liver, sick kidneys. As I speak, as I release the anointing of healing, you 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 direct that healing where you want it to achieve. If you want healing in your finances, as I pray, you command healing to manifest in your finances. If you want healing in your marriage. <clears throat> Marriages that are on the rock bottom, a relationship that have been threatened by, by disappointment as I minister healing before I release you. You declare healing in that area. You need healing in your dreams. You, the enemy has turned your dream life into a war zone, into a battlefield. As I minister, as I release the healing, you channel it there. Maybe your child is your child that is sick and they're sleeping. Run quickly to the bedroom where they're sleeping. As I minister healing, uh, the power of God is going to touch them you have someone sick in the house as i minister healing lay your hands on them they are going to be healed you have pain in your feet uh tando i don't know that tando you are listening you touch your knees you touch your feet i'm going to speak healing i'm going to to send fire of healing to go through your body whatever is painful whatever is lacking the anointing of god and the power of god is going to reach out to you and healing he said in his word that jesus was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes he bought our healing therefore i stand in the finished work of jesus christ on the cross and i declare tonight every sickness every pain every disease every affliction every infirmity wherever they are fire i send the fire to go through your body from your head to the bottom of your feet whatever god never planted every plantation of the enemy in the form of tumors in the form of fibroids evil growth every evil plantation every Every load the enemy has deposited in your body. Your body is not a temple of sickness. Your body is not a temple of a virus. I command your blood. He said in Joel that he will clean the blood. He did not clean. You have a, a sickness in your blood. Is it HIV? Is it is it cancer? Is it is it leukemia? Which sickness is it in the blood? Right now, I send the fire of healing. I send the fire, 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 fire. Fire and the mountain, they'll take it. In the name of Jesus, that's the power of God. That stretch your hands here. That's the healing power of God. That's the anointing of God. That's that. That's the power. It's coming out. Whatever you ate, every sickness you ate through dreams is coming out. Someone is puking. Someone is vomiting right now. Someone is throwing up right now. It's coming out. It's coming out. Touch your belly. It's coming out. Touch your belly. That sickness you ate through the dream. They fed you with the poisonous substance. You are vomiting them. Come out. They are run to the bathroom quickly. They are coming out. They are coming out. Strange substances are coming out of you. They are flashing out. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out. Fire. 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 
the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I minister healing. Let healing. I minister healing to your body. I minister healing to your bones. I speak healing to your emotions. I speak healing. I may God cleanse you. Let the healing power of God, let the refiner's fire fall upon you. May God flush out every pain, every sickness. Be healed. I pray for your dreams. Your dreams will not be a battle zone. Your dreams will not be a war zone. I speak every door, every evil door the enemy has been using to access your dreams. Every evil door the enemy has been using to access your health, to access your finances. Those doors are closed tonight. Those doors are closed tonight. This month of June, as you constantly appear on this altar of prayer every midnight hour, mm, the testimony that is coming your way, it will be in the order of Psalms 126. The Bible says when God brought back the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dreamt. It's going to be too good to be true. It will be like a dream of the night. God is Coming through for you speedily. God is this month of June. It will be your month of harvest. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As I release you to go back to bed, I declare that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You will say of the Lord, he is your refuge, is your fortress, is your God in him you trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth is your shield and your back. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night. Not of the arrow that flies by the not of the pestilence that walks in the darkness, not of the destruction that lays waste and a thousand may fall on your side, ten thousand on your right hand. It shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you've made the Lord, who is your refuge, even the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you. No evil shall befall you. No plague will come near your dwelling. May God give his angels charge over you to keep in all your ways in the hands they shall bear you that you may not hurt your foot on the stone you shall tread on the lion on the cobra the angry lion and the serpent you shall tramp underfoot because you set your love upon him may god deliver you may god set you on high because you've known his name you shall call and he will answer you he will be with you in trouble he will deliver you and honor you with long life he will satisfy you and show you his salvation as the prophet of god i bless you i bless you in the name of jesus i bless your finances i bless your health i bless your body organs every body organ the doctors declare the sick i bless it in the name of jesus i bless you i bless your marital destiny the prayers you've prayed here tonight they will be answered speedily let that be a speedy answer to all your petitions and all your requests in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit just in case you have your midnight offering your midnight sacrifice for this month feel free to package it and send it through in the name of jesus let this altar continue to speak for you as you are raising an altar as you are raising a midnight hour altar as you are raising an altar of blessings as you are raising an altar of prayer an altar of marriages may this altar continue to speak better things may this altar continue to defend you this month with your eyes you will see the punishment of the wicked it's already past the time right now in the studio it's half past one thank you very much for continuing to watch thank you very much for investing the best of your time and your energy to wait upon the lord and to cry unto god my name is prakoch i'm out of here enjoy the rest of the night don't forget this month we are on duty every midnight we are the watchmen over the city we are the watchmen over the nation we are the watchmen over the church as we watch oh constant prayer provoked angelic intervention as we continue to watch, the angels of deliverance will be dispatched for us. If you believe you are blessed to this midnight hour, type a loud amen. If you are blessed to this lunch hour, let your amen be louder. Let your amen be louder. 
God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the night. Good night. Have nice dreams in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow, the same time, the same station, Midnight Combat. My name is Prakoch. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Greetings. Enjoy the rest of the morning.